Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your time. Um, if you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading or a one-on-one -on -one session, you'll find my email listed on the screen. Let us tap in and find out what God wants you to know at this time. Okay, so we have the page of cups here, okay, at the bottom of the deck that is calling out to me, okay. Okay, five of cups. So I see here that. There has been like a struggle here. You've been struggling to sleep. Okay. You've been struggling to, to find rest. Maybe you wake up a lot in the middle of the, the, the night. Or oh, there's a lot of um, just unsettled, unsettled energy. Like your spirit might be feeling really anxious. Okay, and I'm getting this happens at night. Okay, at night, when the sun goes down, you feel most anxious. Okay, things feel more real. Okay. Okay, we have the Knights of Cups and the Five of Cups again, okay. So, we have the Knight of Cups. So, okay, with the Knight of Cups, there is someone, okay, this, this person, okay, so this, 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 this is, this is, this is a message for those in relationships, okay, if you are in a relationship, any kind of relationship if you're not a relationship if you're not in a relationship this will not resonate with you so yeah let's move forward let's proceed with that being said this night's a cups um coming out okay so the energy i'm getting from this is that there is someone from your past okay your ex they feel like you are unhappy in your current relationship they feel like you're not you are not as happy as you claim to be you're not as happy as the pictures you're not as happy as the depictions you're not you're not happy they feel like it's a, it's all a facade you're pretending they feel like it's a, it's an act so i see this person wanting to contact you okay um, they're going to send you a DM. I see them wanting to send you a text message, okay, an email, a, a FaceTime. They want to reach out, okay, iMessage, okay, Facebook, Snapchat. I see that they just, they want to reach out to you. But I see that they're reaching out like, it's like they're reaching out to you with the mindset of, you are not happy. You're not happy where you are. You're you not in a happy relationship. You're pretending. You're acting. This, you know, this is a facade. It's not real. This is the mindset that they, they are coming through with. This is their approach. They think you're not happy. So they're going to reach out to you. This person, they want to... It's like they're going to ask you a question this person they want to ask you something
Okay, the wheel of fortune. This person wants to ask you, yeah, page of cups, yeah. So, this person has this request for you, okay? They have a specific request for you. I feel like when they reach out to tell you this request, okay, they're going to, you know, they're going to wait on you. They're going to wait for you to answer. This person with the will of fortune, they're not expecting you to answer right away. They're not expecting this to be an immediate decision. This is someone who would not even mi mind waiting months, okay? They don't mind waiting on you, beloved, okay? So with that being said, this person has a request. They want to come to where you reside, okay? Your location, your place of rest, your place of stay. They want to come there and pick you up, okay? With the Snats of Cups, they want to, they want to, they want to pick you up in a car, okay? I'm seeing a car. I'm seeing a car. Specifically, this person wants to come pick you up, okay, with a car. There's a specificity of that car okay so we have the eight of wands reversed and the page of pentacles here I feel like this person, they, they want to, I, I see this person like panicking in a panic state of being. I see them like pacing up and down. They rushing. They, I feel like they doing this because they feel like they're running out of time. They feel like they're running out of time. Okay. Will of fortune page of pentacles here. Okay. They're running out of time. They feel like time is not on their side. They feel like they are losing you with every day. Okay. That you spend with your new person. They feel like it's a loss for them. It's a loss for their team, his team, her team. Okay. This person feels like the more time you spend with someone else, the more they lose you energetically, the more they feel this energetic disconnect, the more they feel like you have already, you know, you've already closed the cycle. But I feel like this person is not going to let that stop them. I feel like they're rushing and they, they, they're hesitating at the same time, you know. And I feel like when you're rushing and you're hesitating, it's like you're not in a state of being of being stable. Like, there's a lot going on in this person's mind right now. Like, they, they have a lot of assumptions about you and your new person. They have a lot of um, insinuations. They just have a lot on their mind that they, 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 they have an answered um questions and these questions are very vital okay this person feels like these questions are very vital and they are vital they they need these questions need to be answered before they come towards you this person feels like the questions they have about you and your new life they need these questions answered before they make any move towards you People in this person's life, okay, the people in this person's life, I keep they keep telling them to slow down, okay? Like slow down, like you know, you're speaking too fast, or you're explaining too quickly, or you know, you had you you were moving too 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 fast, or you're moving without thinking. I feel like they need to be calmed down, they need to be spoken to, constantly needing to be reprimanded about you and this connection, like nah, just chill, or like you can get her back, you can get him back, like you know just need to be smart you just need to be strategic they keep they have inf they are being influenced okay yeah okay they're being influenced this person's emotions are being influenced by those around them okay they 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 strongly are 
are influenced. They don't have any of their individual thoughts. Their thoughts are being tainted by all these other people around them, telling them this is how to go about it. This is how, you know, do this, do that. I feel like this person has no way of having their own thoughts. They're being driven by others, okay? I feel like the emotions for you, they don't stop growing. Like, they keep growing. They, they keep, the memories keep resurfacing. Flashbacks keep being activated in this person's subconscious, okay? They keep being brought back, okay? Like, they keep being brought back to your energy. This person, they're feeling bound, okay? They're feeling, they feel like you, they feel, they feel trapped to your energy, okay? To those who are spiritually inclined, this person feels as though you might have did something on them, a love spell or something, okay? But I see them laughing that fact off, okay? Or laughing that off, okay? I feel like they... I, I, oh. Okay. We have the ten of... We have the Ten of Cups here, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Judgments, okay? The High Priest is reversed. So first of all, this person wants to stop the whole silence thing. This person's like, okay, we done not talking to one another now. You're done pretending that you've moved on. You're done pretending that you don't want me back, okay? You're done pretending that you don't think about me when you're with, them, when you're with him, when you're with her, okay? This person has... A mindset that you you are not you are not over them, okay? With this ten of cups, they think that you are in a new relationship, but you are not over them. You're not over them. They 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 view themselves to be that ex, okay? That one ex that you can't get over. That one ex that you know you you always want. So with that being said, I feel like this person's approach when they come back to world, towards you is going to be from that mindset, okay? But I feel like they, this person is not, it's like they're saying, okay, as much as, you know, there's this new person and I still feel like I can have you back, I'm not foolish enough to believe that there's no, there's no, there's no possibility of me being rejected. So I feel like to, to, to keep their dignity, this person is going to kind of like approach you in a manner of like... A reconciliation, but also like under wraps. This person's gonna be like, you know, cheat on him, you know, cheat on her. You don't have to break up. This person's like, is gonna be like, you don't have to break up, just cheat, okay? So, as they say this, I feel like as they come towards you to say this, I feel like they, they want you to, to, to comply with that plan. Okay, they, they, they want you to, to cheat on your person with them, okay? They, 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 are, they would be okay with that, okay? Just to have you back, they would be okay with you cheating on, on your person to come towards them, okay? I feel like this person, this, this is a very low vibrational way of thinking. I feel like they're not thinking clearly. Their judgment is clouded by their emotions right now. They are too consumed by the hurt they feel because of the breakup, because of you moving on. And because if, okay, if this is a man, because they've, they've, they haven't been able to be as vulnerable as they would like to be because they're a man, because they have to uphold this image, the suppressed emotions like are catching up to them now, okay? Same with the woman, okay? If this is a woman that holds back a lot, is not vulnerable, does not open up, they, they shut you down, they, you know, I feel like right now that like, they're in a state of being where if they could just, if, if, you could, if you could allow them to just give themselves to you the way you wanted them back then, it's like they like, I, I will do it, you know, like someone's like, this person's like, they, they won't hold back anymore, okay, the high priestess reversed at the bottom of the deck here, okay, they say they won't hold back anymore if you just take them back. But they're not, ex they're not expecting you to fully leave your person, okay, they still have that at the back of their mind, so they have a plan B, so they have this plan that this, cheat on your, cheat on your person with me, you know, 
they think they have they still have you like that and if you reject them they they they, they can say let's do it under wraps okay let's do it in secret this person feels like if you reject them they can they can say it, they can switch the narrative and, and say it like that or something okay So we have the chariot here and the three of cups reversed. I feel like this person keeps people around them that like heavily influence their fantasies. Like the people that this person keeps around them are the type of people that encourage this person's behavior, even if it's wrong, even if it's really like, like they, they doing too much. Okay. They being excessive or they're not, they're not acting accordingly. The people around them won't reprimand them. Instead, they'll do it with them, okay? They they hang around people that are as excessive as them or as reckless as them or senseless or very, very just, you know. So, okay. With this being said, you can now imagine the influence that is upon them, okay? This person, they have their own reality their own way of thinking about things so like you know just look at it in that way look at it from their perspective this is how they're experiencing this this is their reality of it so with this ten of pentacles like they know they know you're in a relationship if you've been wondering if you've been wondering if they know they 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 seen you or they seen the picture or whatever they know they know you are in a relationship okay But with that being said, they 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 want to be, they want you guys, this person, they want they want to they want to sin with you, okay? This I'm getting the energy of like, you know, with this Queen of Wands. It's not funny, you guys, but it's like, I feel like it's, it's a hold you have, you know? And I feel like you're able to make this person, I'm getting like lap dog energy. You can, you can make them do what you want. It's like, they feel like they're under your spell. They feel like you've put them under a spell. And I feel like they're in love with that idea. The fact that that could be true, especially if you are a spiritual person, you know, the fact of that being true, like they, they, they love that, that, okay, you could, you could have put a spell on them. I feel like this person is desperate for, for you here. Like, you know, with this queen of wands reverse, their desperation is, is making them act out of character or like, you know, their behavior is, is really weird. Like, this person, they're willing to, like, allow you to do what you want with them. But you, do you understand what I mean? Like, they're willing to let you, like, just have them. Like, fully, you know, but it's in a very, like, it's like, cause they want to, they, it's like, and when... This night of sin they want to have with you. They want it to be something. They want It's like they want to consume you. This person, they want to consume you. They have this idea that if they have you one last time with the Three of Pentacles re reversed, they can, they, can, they can pull you out of your relationship, your current relationship, if you were to experience them again, it would pull you out of your relationship. So this person's I, this person's intention of getting you alone is to sleep with you, to reclaim you from your current relationship, okay? This is their mindset, beloved. Understand that fact. It's how they're experiencing it, whether or not it's possible, okay? That doesn't matter in this person's head because this is just what they're thinking. This is what they think is going to work in their favor. I feel like this is what is driving them to make this decision and to 
and to come towards you here this is what is making this is this is what is is it is making this person feel like it's possible to have you back they feel like they have that sexual hold or that sexual pull or that sexual attachment to you they feel like they can they ha they have you like that so they feel like they can manipulate that okay to have to get to get you back here mean cool not to take that okay um to distort your vision okay yeah the higher fund this person it's like they don't have any idea what goes on in your reality when it comes to your new person and i feel like they don't even care a part of them did consider it but it's like they don't care about that they want a relationship with you they don't care about the hard work you might have put in with this new person or the connection you have with the new person they don't care about that they just want you okay they just want you so they they want to come through with that energy okay this is going to distort your vision is what i'm getting okay they want this to distort your vision they want this approach of theirs to distort to, to distort your vision they want you to to remember okay remember 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 me and you they want they want you to remember okay they want you to remember when they saw you naked okay someone's like I, like i saw you naked what do you mean you know this this person is like they 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 want you to remember okay go back go back to the memories don't forget me there's no way we this happened we did this together you cannot pretend stop controlling yourself stop stop being with this person i feel like this person is living in their head okay but they could be right you know they could be right if they're talking about this strong pull on you maybe you could have told this person this okay during sex you could have told them the power they have over you could have fessed up about it or something you know there was like that engagement of it that's making them feel like they have this power you know along those lines okay read along those lines beloved okay i'm being called to end your message here okay but okay wait okay not quite is what i just heard okay the moon this person is like because they feel like you're unhappy in your current relationship they want you to take a drive with them to an isolated area okay this could be a, a, a hotel room okay read along the lines okay they want you to go away with them and sin for the night okay they So this is what they're going to contact you about okay they want you to keep this a secret okay with the moon they want you they want you guys to have that type of relationship where you drive in the middle of the night and get away and you know and cheat and they want they want they 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 this person feels like you know yeah look at what i'm doing they want you to get out of the current relationship you're in if you married they don't they don't even care man like but like this person has a purpose that they're coming for here okay they they want to destroy the relationship you have with the person that you're with that is what they want this person feels like they have that power and that is what they're going to do they're going to want this with you okay they're going to request this night of sin so it's either you're going to do it or not okay that's plain and simple okay spirit just said okay so god is saying you know i don't need to tell you you know what is right or what is wrong you know but this is what is happening so don't be tempted please you know better than this beloved okay don't fall into this okay these things happen you know we have people that you know we experience and they 
we cross paths and they become exes and they obsess over us or they attach themselves to us like because they realize too late like who we really were and you know but that's not our fault that's not your fault that they realize it too late it's not your fault so who they shouldn't they shouldn't feel like they have that power to to break your relationship that you've you've built for yourself you know unless you give them that power by allowing them back into your life by going to that hotel room by getting in this car this car you know this car that is all okay that was your message if you're keen or interested in booking me for a reading or a one-on-one -on -one session um you'll find my email on the screen i offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via um whatsapp video call facetime skype and zoom call okay and lastly i do offer services such as dream interpretations prophetic and intuitive um readings here ancestral messages love readings as well as spiritual path readings okay i'm sending you nothing but love i thank you so much for your time bye